I recently bought one of these. It's a Raspberry Pi 5. Now, I know folks use these for home automation or as a media center, but I'm thinking bigger and better. In the next five minutes, we'll get Valve's Half-Life 2 running on this Pi. Interested? Let's do it. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. I was recently browsing GitHub when I came across this gem. It's the full source code to Valve's source engine. And the great thing about code is you can build it for any platform you want. Or at least we can try. Although this thing is new, it's not mighty. To make Half-Life 2 run, we'll need to max this out. So two things. We have this beefy USB-C power supply. It's rated at, I think, 27 watts. And I have this heatsink and fan combo to keep the Pi cool as we pump more watts into it. Now let's assemble this together. Now to build the code, we need some software. I'm running Ubuntu here, so let's get the terminal up. And we'll add the build tools. And then the build dependencies. And last but not least, we'll grab the source engine itself. Okay, now we're ready for the build. So first it's configure, and then build, and finally install. Right, if we navigate to the Half-Life 2 folder, you can see we've got the Half-Life 2 launcher, but we're not quite ready yet. We have the code, but we don't have the content. We need to get the Half-Life 2 level data, the textures, audio, and all of those assets and copy them across to the Pi. So on my main machine over here, I've got Ubuntu installed here too, along with Steam, and I've downloaded Half-Life 2. If I navigate to the game directory and I browse the local files, I want these two folders, HL2 and platform. So I'll grab those and copy them to the Pi. Okay, we're back on the Pi and we should be good to go. We've got our Half-Life 2 and platform directories copied over. Switch to the terminal, HL2 launcher, go. Awesome, let's give this a try. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. See you get on. Well, end of the line. Welcome. Welcome to City Seventeen. Have you have chosen or been chosen it's all I have to relocate to one of our finest Are you the only ones on that train? I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to 
establish my administration here in the citadel so gets on with the provided by our benefactors i've been proud to call city 17 my home and so whether you are here to stay or passing through or away to parts unknown welcome to city 17. it's safe here Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. So, what do you think? Is this a mini miracle? Perhaps we can tune the settings and make this run even faster. Did you enjoy the video? And would you like to see more games run natively on the Pi? I'll leave you with some more gameplay, and as always, comments and questions down below. Enjoy!
found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same history. Better get going. Attention, community. 